neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, makes it to the 22-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. From their own 38-yard line, first down. it to the middle of the field, tackled for a loss. That'll be a loss of one. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That'll bring up second and 11. Third and 11. Ball on the 37 yard line. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at around the 44 yard line. First and ten, all on the 44-yard line. He's got it with room to run. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He gets rid of this one. He tried to fool him by running the same play again. Well, yeah, fooled no one there, Brad. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 78-yard drive. They come away with seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. USC's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the cost. It does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out and try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Tackle around the 
44-yard line. He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. He's pushed out of bounds around the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, first down. Carries the ball for a nice game. This offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Nice run, and he's brought down. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 32 yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. It's the ninth play of the drive. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Trojans. He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. A nine-play, 76-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. We get a tie game at 7-7. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. They'll spread the field with five wide. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's hit complete. Brought down at about the 45. First down. From the 45 yard line, it's first down. Zips it to the back. 
And they make the stop at about the 31. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. And he's taken down right around the 30. So at the end of one quarter, we're even at seven in this one. Welcome back to the action. Just about set to start quarter number two, and we're all tied up. Caught open field. They'll bring him down at the 26. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. That'll make it 35. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He steps up. Fires that quickly incomplete. Number two is his intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. Boise State could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and he got it. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 10-7, Boise State. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Setting up play action, and he hits him hard at the 17. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. They'll drop him for a loss. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful to play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 37. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Going deep, lays it up there. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. And this one is a beauty. He got hit hard. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Boise State has a three-point lead. Here's the give. Good outside run there. It's second and six. Ball on the 31-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. A 
That's a seven-yard gain for the halfback on the running play. Draw plays works best when the offense has had success throwing the football. The defense isn't expecting run, and when that delayed handoff happens, they're nowhere near the action. Makes it out to about the 46. Boise State's going to take their first time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Play action, going deep. He's got a touchdown. impossible pass to the fan and it goes for six. Yep, the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. USC's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does. And now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left, they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit. They're going to have to do it with somebody else, I think. This is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days, you prep. And you look at a lot of film, and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around, and you have a good idea of how you want to attack the defense. And then you go out there, and it's not working. You have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at that drawing board and eliminate some things and maybe add some things and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to to give your team a chance to win in the second half. He tried to hit his receiver in stride but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. And he's tackled around the 40-yard line. And we got an injured player on the field. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on their own forty. He's taken down around the fifty. That brings up second and nine. Give it off here. It's a fumble. And the defense picks it up. I'll tell you, when a guy as big as this lineman gets his paws on a loose ball, you can pretty much forget about it. You're not getting the ball back from him. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. They're about four yards away here on third down. He picks up a yard on the play. Doesn't look like this defense is going to let him beat him with the deep passes. So they'll allow those short completions to the tight end. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The Broncos are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. We're about set to start things up again. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Makes the catch, and look out. And he shoved out of bounds at the 30-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 30. The Trojans saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. He might have a chance for the 20, for the 10. Touchdown, Boise State. And 
he hits the PAT. The Trojans running back left the game earlier with that injury. What we're hearing now, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to return to action today. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. And they got it. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. the ball inside and he tackles him hard at the 18. First half comes to a close as they head to the locker rooms. 24 to 7 Bronco. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back to their offense. Uh, absolutely. you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, trying to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. He's got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Tackle at the 17-yard line. Boise State's coaching staff will go off tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative so predictable it's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game he gets rid of this one from their own 17 yard line second down he goes out of bounds around the 20 yard line Ball play, and the defense was ready for it. Nowhere to go on the delay. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Well, this offense has found the end zone on their last two drives. And they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. He guns it. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. From the 27 yard line. First down. Mike 55, Mike 55. E, 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 e. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes around the 26 yard line. Go. 
Hill at the 13-yard line. From the 13-yard line, first down. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 13-yard line. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Boise State is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. USC's getting stomped right now. They're unable to get anything going here in the third quarter. Well, I think what they have to do at this point is they've got to get into a little bit more of a hurry-up mode, a little bit more urgency, score, and hope that the defense can come up with a stop and hope you can get the ball back and put more points on. Brought down at the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Goes quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on their own 36. Here's the pitch, left side. Lost the ball, fumble, and the defense is on it. And he has it on the corner. Nice run there as they work the outside. What do you think about that last turnover, Kirk? Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. They put some points on the board in their last drive, and they'll start this one in position to do much of the same. The defense has their backs against the wall here. They're really going to have to get aggressive if they want to keep the offense from scoring any points here. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop around the 48-yard line. Got a first and ten. Ball on their own 48. And he's taken down around the 47 yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Now this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. From the 34-yard line, 
It's first down. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 20. First and 10. Ball on the 20. Nice run there. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. That makes it second and six. Play is number eight on the drive. He's wrapped up for the sack. That brings him second and goal. From the eleven yard line, it's second down. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Toss left side. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. USC gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The Broncos had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you can say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 27-14, Boise State. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. There's a strike complete. Across midfield. Knocked out of bounds. At about the 49. That last catch gives him 100 yards receiving. Well, he's such a big target with good speed, and that's what makes him a dangerous part of this offense. First and ten. Ball on the 49. He's at the 40. And he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. It up the middle for a nice run. Call it again five yards. That'll make it second. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's out of bounds at the 29. Third 
He's knocked out of bounds around the 18-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Sets them up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the one. Expect to see something straight up the middle. Touchdown, Broncos. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 20-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. Just under three to go in regulation. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle made at about the 29-yard line. Second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Gets it. He's in space. He's taken down at about the 43 yard line. Inside the 47. Pressure coming. He airs it out. Incomplete. Almost picked off. The deflection prevented them from getting any yards. And now it's fourth down. stop when they had to have it on fourth down and that should be the football game it's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with but when you're behind sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game they're ready to start another drive hoping to duplicate the results of the last one which ended in a touchdown so much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Just a minute remains in this football game. We have less than a minute to go. And he makes 
takes it out to about the 41 yard line. USC staff and really this entire team I'm sure is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game, but one thing about them is they're, they're a team, and even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.